Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a visualizer like this one in After Effects. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. First things first, let's create a new composition that's 1920 by 1080 at 25 frames per second. I'll keep the duration at around 7 seconds. Next you want to import your footage, I'll press Command or Control plus I to import the videos. Let's change the name of the clip and play it for a little bit so we know what we're dealing with. Now double click on the video layer and then select the Roto Brush tool to isolate the subject. First paint over the model, then click on the areas you want to add to the selection. To remove parts of the selection, hold down the Option or Alt key while painting. When you have that set, you can play the video to see how the selection reacts, and if you notice anything off you can pause, then using Command or Control plus left and right arrow keys, you can move frame by frame to adjust the Roto Brush selection. And once you're satisfied with the results, click on freeze and wait for the processing. Now it's time to go back to our composition. Click to deselect the video layer, then go to the rectangle tool and double click on it to create a new shape that's the same size as the composition. Place it below the video and you can change its color by going to the fill button here, which is pretty helpful. It's time to add the other video footage. I'll quickly resize it and trim it using command plus shift plus D. In order to make it play inside the subject selection, click on this track mat button and select the other video footage. If you can't see the track mat section, click on toggle switches and it's going to show up. And now we see that the video is playing inside our selection. Let's start applying some effects. The selection is a bit sharp, so you can smoothen that out with Gaussian blur or my favorite directional blur. So in the effects and presets window, search for directional blur and apply it to the footage layer. I'll make the direction 90 degrees and change the length to something like 30. Then what I think would look cool is the posterized time effect with the frame rate set to 12, which basically makes it look like it's lagging. I'll add posterized time to the video on top as well, with the frame rate set to 12, and additionally I'll add a brightness and contrast effect to make the footage darker. And this is what it looks like so far. Then you can choose the type tool and write some text. For the main title, I used Kanita Gothic from Adobe Fonts. Change the color to white, align it, and then let's add the subtitle as well. For this one, I used Neue Haas Grotesque. Again, align it center, and you've got this result. I'll leave the project file in the description of this video absolutely for free. You can get it by going to our website, where you can also find other helpful resources. If you want to learn more, check out this other video on the screen. Thank you, and see you next time. This is Creative Society.